welcome to the Majestic SEO online tutorial for flow metrics. Majestic SEO raised the bar after taking a look at the page and domain metrics in the industry. For the first time, we are now able to use an iterative process flowing through our link map to give you easy to understand numbers on how effective a URL is based on the flow of a characteristic through the web. This video will take you through two metrics from Majestic SEO, trust flow and citation flow. These form the initial pillars of our flow metrics algorithm and can be applied to any URL, subdomain or root domain. To help us visualize how flow metrics work, let's imagine a family tree. Characteristics are passed down through a family in a similar way as our trust and citation flow metrics are flowed through the web. For example, let's take the royal family. Queen Victoria is an ancestor of the Queen of England, who now has grandchildren, so we can predict a lot about baby George. His title, his future job, income, hair colour, eye colour and who he'll grow up with, all because of what we already know about the royal family. Apply this to our flow metrics and we can predict the characteristics of any web page based on who is linking into them, but also the proximity to other websites. Let's take a look at the charts produced by the tools. Every link to a site has a trust flow and a citation flow value between 0 and 100. So every link fits on a 100 by 100 grid. Dropping a URL into the Site Explorer, we will see a small version of the link profile graph with more detail found in the link profile tab. In this tab, you can see the differences between the referring domains and the external backlinks graphs, helping you to understand the quality of the websites linking to you, but also the quality of the links. Links with a high citation flow end up further to the right, whereas links with a higher trust flow end up closer to the top of the chart. Of course, many links could have the same scoring, so the density and the color of the charts helps to visualize these with darker shades representing a larger number of URLs with the same trust and citation flow values. Let's compare two sites with quite respectable link profiles, Search Engine Watch and Search Engine Land. Due to the nature of the links across the web, almost every link flow chart that you generate for a domain will tend to have a similar elliptical shape. However, like fingerprints, for every site, no two charts will be exactly the same. Now let's compare a respected site like the BBC with a less dominant site like Excel Pharmacy. The lower quality site not only has less links, but the area where the colour is darkest seems to be much lower on the trust axes and much closer to the origin. Ultimately, these graphs aim to provide the user with a quick visual representation of trust and citation flow, whilst allowing the user to access the finer details through the, using the rest of the toolset available. So let's take a look at the metrics in detail. These two metrics have intrinsic differences, which is why the link profile charts are not symmetrical. The citation flow predicts how influential a URL might be based on the number of sites that link to it. So rather than just counting the number of pages linking to a site or URL, we measure the flow back through a number of websites, recording the changing levels of flow to give a much more definitive score. Links are not measured with equal weight because a strong link will have a relatively stronger influence on URLs further down the chain. Trustflow, on the other hand, began with a huge list of manually reviewed URLs across the web. These all have a crowdsourced level of trust but by no means include all of the trusted sites on the web. It turns out, however, that trustworthy sites tend to link to other trustworthy sites, those two tend to link to other trusted web pages, and so on. Trustflow measures that level of trust passing through pages across the web and, like citation flow, provides a simple 0 to 100 score for the user. For the first time, Majestic SEO have categorized the web. We call this topical trust flow. Taking into account on-page and off-page signals, you can now see the context of the trust for the website in question. With over 800 categories applied to all pages and websites that we crawl, you can now use this data for any penguin issues or to help you find influencers. The numbers shown next to the categories are again between 0 and 100 and rates how influential the web page or site is for that particular category. Try to think of them as metrics in their own right instead of a percentage of the website in question. For example, 
The BBC.co.uk has a score of 89 out of 100 for the arts. So this tells us that the BBC is a huge player in the arts industry, specifically in television. However, there is also a wide variety of topics that the BBC are influencers for, such as radio, news, travel and education. These have scores that are slightly lower, so we know that the BBC are not as influential in these fields in comparison to television. The colour wheel can also help you visualise this. The predominant colour here is red, which represents our arts category. So again, this tells us that the BBC is mainly surrounding the arts sector. The power behind the flow metrics doesn't stop at top level URLs. Whilst the charts do not report on internal links, the flow metrics do pass through them. This means a strong home page can influence the metrics of pages within its own site. While strong external links to inner pages will significantly boost the flow metric score overall. At Majestic SEO, we crawl the whole web. With more than a billion unique URLs in our fresh index alone, which is updated every few hours daily, we are the largest, fastest link map on the planet, and every time our indexes update, so do the flow metrics. Thank you for watching. Be sure to check out the rest of our tutorial videos online at youtube.com forward slash majestic SEO video.